Honda flew a small group of journalists to Twinring Motegi, the company's racetrack located about 100 miles north of Tokyo, for an exclusive test of its flagship motorcycle two months before its scheduled mid-January arrival in U.S. dealerships. As we arrived at the track, we got our first glimpse of the new 2018 Honda Goldwing, the Bagger model, and Goldwing Tour, with Top Drunk. It was immediately apparent the new Honda had been radically redesigned, it was sleeker, slimmer, and had more flowing lines, but I was eager to dive deeper into the technical changes by experiencing the bike first hand. What better way to warm up for testing the 2018 Goldwing than spending the last three weeks getting to know the 2017 Honda Goldwing riding the highways and byways of Southern California. The current bike performed incredibly well for a bike of its size, with crisp, responsive handling at any speed. An impressive lean angle, loads of power wherever you find yourself in the rev range. It was clear why this bike had cemented its place among riders as the go-to motorcycle for long-distance touring, but the infotainment experience was lacking and the user interface cluttered and antiquated. Huge masses of buttons on either handlebar, on the sides of the lower fairing, and, impossibly, again on the dash, there is no Bluetooth and the only way to connect a smartphone for audio is in the trunk. CB radio controls are on your handlebar whether you have the accessory installed or not. Rather than getting your song name and album title, you would just see something like song 234 5138. It was astounding to think that an engine and chassis released in 2001 could still stand up so well to in-class competitors 16 years later. But the infotainment and user interface were showing that age despite a few updates for the wing over the years.